Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak Photo and today we're comparing two AI powered noise reduction tools, namely Denoise AI versus OnOne's No Noise AI 2022. So we're going to begin with Denoise AI and the first difference between the two is the AI models. So namely here we've got five different AI models we can choose from, each sort of with their own aesthetic and each more effective depending on the kind of photo that you're dealing with. So for example, if we click onto standard, it re-renders the image using the standard AI model and so forth. Now we can sort of move from one to the other, but we can also go to this sort of four-way comparison view and view four of the five models simultaneously to decide which is the best. So right now I'm quite looking the, liking the look of the clear one. In low light, that's good. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the low light option. And by choosing low light, the next job is, is to dial in my preferences. So I can sort of scroll in the move noise option and increase that aesthetic, but at the expense of detail. And I can enhance sharpness which does exactly what you think it does. And there we're looking at a much improved image. If we go to the sort of before and after slider, you can see just how good Denoise AI is. Now, along with, Denoise, along with what we've just done, we have the ability to apply noise reduction selectively. So for example, I could brush on to this bird's beak and apply noise reduction into this area alone, or indeed invert the mask and apply noise reduction everywhere else. Now, one of the issues that you might have with Denoise AI is that it does lag ever so slightly. Now, you might have noticed already in this corner, we have this sort of progress bar. And as we sort of move the image, Denoise AI spends a moment to catch up before re-rendering the image. Now, I can't say the delay is particularly um, significant. But nevertheless, it is there. It's there when we move our image. It's there when we pan around via the navigator. And it's also there as we sort of bounce from one model to another or apply particular adjustments like removing the noise and enhancing the sharpness. Now, if all of this sounds like hard work, you don't have to use Denoise AI this way. You can sort of select everything into automatic mode and Denoise AI will automatically assess your image and apply what it thinks is the best noise AI model and apply those sharpnesses and remove noise options without you having to do anything. So moving along, we now have no Noise AI 2022, a vastly improved product from 2021's version. So we're going to begin by adjusting this image. When attacking an image for the first time, it will render. And there we go. So very different approach here. What we do not have is various AI models. So for example, we don't have sharpen, raw. All we have is the very traditional type of control. So for example, we can adjust luminance. We can enhance the detail of the image. You can really overdo that. And we can do color noise reduction as well as sharpening and detail. Now, one of the things that you might have noticed already is just how fast No Noise AI is. It's keeping up with everything I do in real time. There isn't that sort of pause and re-render that you were seeing with Denoise AI. And that's true when we're making adjustments and also true if we're sort of zooming out, zooming in and sort of panning around the image. It is just a much, much sort of smoother and quicker, which is not to say that Denoise AI is slow, but this is pretty much instantaneous. We've got a few extra options. We can sort of bounce to levels, see our shooting parameters, and also move sort of through the history of our adjustments and indeed revert the image to its original state. Now, once you're happy with your adjustments, we can hit apply. 
and we have some other little tricks. So for example, we can crop our image um, just as you would traditionally with a normal photo editor. We've also got some very advanced masking tools. So like Denoise AI, we can manually brush on, but it also has the options to use AI to automatically select particular areas depending on the color selections that you make. We've got refine tools, retouch tools, uh, sort of clone and stamp and um, that sort of thing. Perfect to razor basically for eliminating details. Basically the sort of stuff you expect to find on a photo editor. And yeah, No Noise AI is pretty feature packed and also very fast. So the, the obvious question is, is which is best? So in terms of outright noise reduction performance, I can't pick between them. Both are absolutely exceptional and one may be better with one image, whilst another will be better than the other, but it is really too much to call, too close to call. One advantage that Denoise AI does have is those multiple AI models. So I'm not talking about noise reduction performance, I'm talking about noise reduction aesthetic in that the models give you an option to choose how you want your noise reduction to look rather than the sort of effect of ridding it, if you like. That being said, no noise AI is faster. So if you're working through images quickly, or perhaps you're working with a lower spec PC, you're gonna find that no noise AI is just a little bit of a smoother journey for you. As you can see, an immediate render upon loading, and this is the only delay that you're gonna suffer through your denoising workflow. In terms of price, both the same, both cost about the same. That being said, I do have a 15% off coupon code for Denoise AI, making Denoise AI slightly cheaper. But you will find both of these products on sale occasionally, and that might be just enough to sort of twist you in one direction or the other as to which to buy. Now, these systems are also versatile. They can be used entirely standalone, uh, so no other photo editor required. And both systems can also be used as a plugin. So for instance, you might want to use it as a plugin with Lightroom or Photoshop. And On One will also work with Infinity Photo and a few others. And yeah, I would overall recommend you simply buy the cheapest, whichever that may be at the time. I'm very pleased that I own both. I definitely need one of them. Whichever you buy will be vastly superior to your own in-camera noise reduction and certainly better than the traditional non-AI based noise reduction in your favorite photo editor. Um, you really can't, you can't lose with either and it might just come down to preference. And on that front, both can be tried for free. And I'm going to put the links in the description below. So please give them both a go. Find out which best suits you and pick up the one that you like. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, my name's Richard from Silent Peak and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.